Hey guys, how are you? This is Matt Ackerson, the founder of autogrow.co, as you may already know. I wanted to go over the two most important uh, strategies that you may not find on this list, but that are a bit high level and I think will help you to get the most benefit out of uh, actually putting this article into action. And the first one is detection. So if from one, one month to the next, from week to week, you know, you're looking to grow sales, very similar to you know, the position I was in at the beginning of this year, where we were formerly an agency, basically a brand new company, just became a, a products business officially, only selling our own products. And the first month we made less than $1,000 in revenue. And I just wanted to just you know, climb that mountain, get our revenue up as high as possible, as fast as possible. And just kind of looking at the numbers and I'm just like, you know, what do we have to do? What, what should I be changing? So this alludes to the first point, my first point, which is what will, you know, determine, you know, your success with your sales funnel. If you feel that customers might be getting stuck at a certain point is the knowledge first of whether or not people are getting stuck at a certain point. So detection. That is the number one thing that you need to be using and you need to employ. So for example, the way that you would actually have detection set up is you can use a free tool. Uh, it's a feature actually, part of Google Analytics. And you can set up a uh, tracking funnel right within Google Analytics where you will track each step uh, from one to the next as visitors on your website you know, move through your funnel. Um, another way to do this is you can just track the steps or the different levels of your funnel since Google Analytics is a bit limited. It can only track when people are actually on your website, but perhaps you want to include data from uh, the email portion of your funnel in there as well um, and perhaps sales as well. So that's pretty easy to do in a simple spreadsheet. Now I go into more detail on how to do this uh, in our premium training for the six-figure sales funnel as well as uh, the sales funnel blueprint. Um, so check that out if, if you want to learn more about that. Um, but the second reason why you wouldn't get um, results, you know, if or, or you might feel you might remain stuck at a certain point where you know revenue is is flat. It's just kind of just kind of snaking along like this. It might even be going down. Is the will to change because it's not enough to actually know that you want to grow. It's not enough to detect where the problem is actually occurring, where that bottleneck in your marketing system, your funnel is actually occurring. You have to actually take action on it. And I say this as a practical recommendation and not just some sort of woo woo type of idea. You really do need the will to change and that is often scary for a lot of people because it requires destroying some or in part something that you may have already set up or done because you might say well I'm, I'm already making in my case I'm already making a thousand dollars a month if I you know make too drastic of a change that could go down to zero and that would be really horrible or, or half or whatever you might fear but the truth is is that the creative process which is really underestimated when it comes to marketing and causing sales. It truly is a creative process. It does require some element of destruction. And that's a natural thing, you know, even in literature that famous authors like in the book uh, Clockwork Orange have been trying to tell us. But I digress a little bit. In either case, you need the will to change. You must act and then keep an eye on the numbers. Does it cause the result that you want? Does it alleviate the bottleneck? Does it cause an increase in sales, subscribers, whatever the result is that you're trying to cause, all right? So I hope that this video was helpful to you. I encourage you once again, uh, if you're busy, you can go ahead and download a copy of the article to read later. Just pop in your email address to our read later widget towards the top and go through the list in full. You know, I, I understand, you know, some of you might be busy, you might be in a rush, but at least give it a skim and try to pick out two strategies that you want to try out or you want to come back to and read more in depth. All right. 
So as always, until next time, my name is Matt Ack in the Mad Hat, delivering you your daily dose of Mad Hacks. Keep hustling, stay focused. I'll talk to you soon.